Get your girl. Negro League Baseball. Ooh, yes. Hey, honey, they hey. would come out dressed to the nines. It was like a celebration of black oh, culture. That's right. Coming out to see they men play. Seven years of black excellence. Come on and bring it on back. The Detroit Stars and Jacksonville Red Caps. It all started in 1920. Black baseball players started on their journey. They had to give the talent and belief. 400,000 spectators filled the seats to come see them play, y'all. Black men playing baseball. Ruth Foster. What you know about that? He was the genius behind this entire operation. Come to see the boys catch a page. Jackie Robinson. Black baseball players front and center stage. And they were getting paid. Getting paid. Joe Lewis, Cab Calloway, and Louis Armstrong, they had their own See, they ran their own operation. They didn't care about segregation. Cause they knew they had the gift. The gift. Everybody, everybody knew they had the gift. They were getting fan mail from Japan all the way to Brazil. Cause they were the best on the baseball field. Overseas, they couldn't deny it. They just kept it real. But playing in the league wasn't all fun. White cops would harass most of them. To try to make them feel inferior. Because they really knew they were superior. Racism in the United States. Most whites didn't care about the Negro League until their decision to integrate, which meant better players for their teams and the coaches and the owners got a higher pay rate. And then the Negro League started to disintegrate. I mean, SMH, for real. See, the scouts from the MLB, known as the Major League, would go to the Negro League and offer more money to the black players so they would come play for their teams. And the black players went, some for more money, some for acceptance. They forgot they were the gift. They were the gift. Yep, they had the gift. Just think if they stayed with the Negro League baseball team, they would be living out their wildest dreams. Man, and we would still have teams like the Baltimore Black Sox. Uh huh. Cleveland Buckeyes, you know it. Brooklyn Royal Giants, where they at? Cincinnati Tigers, bring them back. Birmingham Black Barons. Black crackers kept you staring. Austin Black Senators, Baltimore Elite Giants, Birmingham Giants, New York Black Yankees, Dayton Marcos, Memphis Red Sox, New York Cubans, Newark Eagles too. Indianapolis ABC, Kansas City Monarchs, Cleveland Cubs, Cleveland Bears, Detroit Stars, Jacksonville Red Caps. Let's keep their memory alive. There were so many brothers that played for the Negro League baseball teams. You got Leroy Satchel Page, you got Josh Gibson, Cool Papa Bell, Hilton Smith, Boon June Wilson, William Youngblood, Bill McCrary, Jackie Robinson, and that's just to name a few. Let's keep their memory alive. Go visit the Negro League Baseball Museum in Kansas City, Missouri. Big shout out goes to Alfred, Horace, and Buck for allowing us to keep these memories alive. Let this be a lesson. Stick together, stick together. U-N-I-T-Y, U-N-I-T-Y, that's a unity.